Hey guys, welcome to Evidential Tech. My name is Evidence. In this video, I'm going to review Android Wear 2.0. And let's get right to it. So I'm using the Asus Zen Watch here as an example. You can go check out my review of the Asus Zen Watch. So on, on the, this is my watch um, face here. On the, lock, on the home screen, you can pull down and see um, different options. You can see settings. To go to, to, go to your settings. And you can see um, your battery percentage of the watch. You can see um, the date, and you can see do not disturb mode to turn that on. You can see um, volume media controller to control the media. Airplane mode to turn airplane mode on and off, and brightness to turn your brightness on, up, or down. So let me go back here. And when you take and um, when you pull from the bottom, you see your notifications. And on the bottom of it is the clear all button. When you click on a notification, you can act on that notification. So and you see um you see different things about the notification and you can act on it depending on what notification it is and on notification if you swipe to the right that's how you delete your notifications and when you put um, from right to left or from left to right on the home button you see the option to change your um, watch face and um, if you go here you can add more watch faces and from here you can choose different watch faces to add to it and you can click on this and that becomes your new watch face and you can also do this and um, with the android wear watch i'll show you guys that in a minute and if you hold down on this you see what is called complications so you can click on there and you can choose let's say something like this one and you can have different options of things you can put on your watch face. So you can choose any of these and add it to your watch face. Let's say a suit weather. And add it to your watch face just like that. And let's say I go back to something like this one. When you click on this button, card settings here. It also gives you the same option. So for this one, you can change the color. For this watch face, you can change the color. So if I go to theme colors, I can choose between these two colors those are the only ones available and if I hold down on this it also gives me the same option I can click on data and I can choose any of these buttons here so let me say this one and I can choose whatever I want it to be and that's basically it for the um, clock and this is my home button so when you go to the home so your recent your three most recent apps will appear on the top and then all your apps are arranged um, based on an alphabetical, alphabetical order. So any app that you have on your Android phone that is compatible with your watch will be downloaded on your watch automatically. And you can choose to uninstall it um, from your watch if you choose to. And see all these apps that are on my phone is on, on my watch too. And I can um, use them on my watch. So if I go to something like google play store on here from here i can download any app i want directly on my watch without using my phone and this watch connects your um, phone through bluetooth and it's also connects and um, through wi-fi so from here you can manually search for different apps using your voice um the keyboard or you can search and um, by different categories from your watch and going from a swipe when you're in an app like this swiping from left to right kind of deletes the app like takes you back and let's say i click on something like featured apps and i see something that i like let's say pandora music uh, from my watch i can install it and you can install apps directly on your watch in android we are 2.0 and that's it and when you go into the settings in android wear 2.0 you 
you the first thing you see is the display and the background is gray i wish the background was like purely black instead of um blackish gray um, from here you can change your watch face you know you, you can change your watch face let me go back here the settings display and you can, you can adjust your brightness and change your font size you can have always on display target on and off so your watch won't go black um that's what the always on display does and sound and notifications you can media alarm ringing tunes also vibrate for calls watch ringing to notification previews do not disturb vibration pattern you know you can choose different and um, vibration patterns for your watch and then you have apps this will give you all your apps system apps and then you see um, your system apps actually these are not your download app yeah this is all yeah it's you see your system apps on here and when you go to gestures you see um, different options still to work read suggestions launch tutorials and more tips and when you go to connectivity you see bluetooth wi-fi if your wife if your watch is wi-fi compatible airplane mode and location to have the locations of your phone and when you go to accessibility you see magnification gestures test to speech talk experimental power button and score and everything and when you go to system you see date and time Disconnect and reset. If you want to reset your phone, restart, power off, about phone, about watch, and you see the model number, device number, and um, device name, versions, tap to see view. And see Android we are 2.0, Google Play services, it's running Android 7.1.1, and you see the security patch level, and this is June 1st, 2017. And you see the serial number of the watch, the build number, the connection, the battery percentage system updates regulatory information legal licenses if you click on system updates it um, does a check for system update to tell you if your watch is up to date or not like mine is up to date and that's basically everything about Android Wear 2.0 in your watch and <clears throat> in your phone let me get my phone here and unlock it in your phone you can from your phone you can download Android Wear 2.0 app and put this down so you guys right. so this is what the Android Wear 2.0 apps looks like and when you click on settings you have a few different settings options and it tells you watch watch is connected calendar settings silence phone while we are on watch back block notification app and you can go from into Google Assistant settings and when you go back here um, from here you can click this button on the top and it tells you to disconnect or take wearable screenshot to take a screenshot of this and um, watch so if I click on take wearable screenshot and let me see if that works I don't know if it did work or not actually it did wait hold on so it did take a, a screenshot of my wearable and I can open it with and I can share it to somebody I believe so yeah and from here you can also click more and you can see different watch faces to choose from and let's say you click the head for example it shows up on your watch and your your watch changes to the head and you can click on it to change the settings about it this watch the asus watch comes with asus zen watch manager and um i went over that in my review of this watch and you can choose different watches and then you can customize your watch face let me go back to the android wear app and yeah this is the android wear app on your phone it's very basic nothing spectacular about it so guys yeah well guys that's it my, for my review of um, android wear 2.0 if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one in the meantime i will see you on the next video bye